Hi, Freedom Family. Welcome back to another episode of the KYC Notify. I hope you guys are doing great because I feel very awesome today. I am glad, Freedom Family, that you guys are all here. And today, we will be discussing a very tricky subject again. But as promised in the first episode, we will be discussing fair use. So, are you ready, guys? I hope you are. So, here we go. On the rule of thumb, we will be discussing this topic. YouTube has given us a few guidelines about it, and to start things off, what is fair use? Here we go. Fair use is a legal doctrine that says you can reuse copyright protected materials under certain circumstances without getting permission from the copyright owner. These circumstances are guided by the four factors of fair use. The first factor states the purpose and character of the use, including whether such use is of commercial nature or for non-profit educational purposes. Courts typically focus on whether the use is transformative, that is, whether it adds new expression or meaning to the original, or whether it merely copies from the original. Commercial uses are less likely to be considered fair, though it's possible to monetize a video and still take advantage of the fair use defense. The second factor is the nature of the copyrighted work. Using material from primarily factual works is more likely to be fair than using purely fictional works. The third factor is the amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the copyrighted work as a whole. However, even a small taking may weigh against fair use in some situations if it constitutes the heart of the work. The fourth and last factor is the effect of the use upon the potential market or the value of the copyrighted work. Uses that harm the copyright owner's ability to profit from his or her original work are less likely to be fair uses. Courts have sometimes made an exception under this factor in cases involving parodies. Disclaimer, there is actually no silver bullet that will guarantee you are protected by fair use when you use copyrighted material that you do not own. Courts will consider all four of the factors and weigh them in a case-by-case -case basis. But I'm guessing you guys have a lot of questions asking yourselves right now. So YouTube has gone ahead and answered all your questions. Let's take a look at the four myths of fair use. Myth number one. If I give credit to the copyright owner, my use is automatically fair use, right? Phrases such as, all rights go to the author, and I do not own, do not automatically mean you are making fair use of that material, nor do they mean you have the copyright owner's permission. Myth number two. If I post disclaimers on my video, my use is fair use, right? As we noted a while ago, there are no magic words that will do this for you. Myth number three. Entertainment or non-profit uses are automatically fair use. Is it? Declaring your upload to be for entertainment purposes only, for example, isn't likely to tip the scales in the fair use balancing test. Similarly, non-profit uses are favored in the fair use analysis, but it's not an automatic defense by itself. Myth number four. If I add any original material I created to someone else's copyrighted work, my use is fair use, right? Even if you added a little something of your own to someone else's content, you might not be able to take advantage of the fair use defense, particularly if your creation fails to add new expression, meaning, or message to the original. All right, Freedom Family, let's break it down. In general, fair use is an argument or legal doctrine you can use when you include copyright protected material in your videos. But as it is a legal doctrine, there are guidelines. These guidelines are number one, the purpose and the character of the use. Number two is the nature of the copyrighted work. Number three is the amount and substantiality of the portion used. And lastly, but not the least, is number four, the value of the copyrighted work. YouTube has stated that there is no silver bullet that will guarantee you are protected by fair use. But if you follow these guidelines accordingly, you can make a stronger argument whenever you invoke fair use. All right, guys, did you learn something from the rule of thumb? Because if you did, comment in the comment section below. And if you did not, well, comment in the comment section below as well and tell me the things that I missed out. And I will be reading your comments and also answering all of them. All right, see you there. Today in the KYC Nold Edition, we will be looking into channels that properly uses the fair use doctrine. Let's go, Freedom Family. Disclaimer. YouTube still has the final decision whether your argument for fair use is valid or not. First up is movies I love. I love movies too. Let's take a look at your channel. 
Your channel looks very interesting because you review tons and tons of movies. We can learn a thing from you. So let's take a look at your videos. The only mute woman named Eliza, played by Sally Hawkins. In 1962, Baltimore. In this video, you are reviewing the movie The Shape of Water. I haven't seen it, and judging from the review, I think it's really good. So let's talk about the video. The video, you are talking about the story and the scenes and other technical sides that is tantamount to a great movie. That is actually really great. Let's take a look into another video. It begins with a now famous gorgeous. It's the same as the first one, so amazing. Whenever you are doing video reviews, you should always provide ample amounts of information regarding the content you are reviewing. Movies I love, you have a great channel, good job, keep it up, and I will rate your channel as nullified. All right, moving on. The next one up is horrible review. I hope you are having a very wonderful time because today we will be checking your channel. Let's go. Okay, your channel does video reviews for various movies. That is actually really great. And I see here that most of your content revolves around thrillers and horror genres. That is cool. So let's take a look at your videos. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with this movie. It does suck pretty bad. In this video, you are stating your opinion on the set of movies that you are reviewing. That is actually good. Although I have to warn you that there are scenes in your videos that have sexual content. To be more specific, there are scenes that actually show private parts. I suggest you put this as age-restricted content or censor the private parts out. Okay, let's move on. So, in the movie, which in Finnish is simply just called Bodom, Bodom we're first introduced to these two cool-looking boys. Okay, in this video, you are reviewing Lake Bottom and you are stating your opinions, which is really great. As I mentioned a while ago, in your first video, there is actually sexual content. And to be more specific, you have shown private areas or private parts of women, which violates the nudity or sexual content policy of YouTube. If you want to use these kinds of content, you should age restrict your content or censor out the private areas or the sensitive parts so that you do not violate the nudity or sexual content policy of YouTube. If you want to know more about nudity or sexual content, you can click that eye or this one, whichever, to see one of my episodes about that. Okay, if this video was about nudity or sexual content, I would rate your channel as at risk. But since we are talking about fair use and you have displayed that in all of your videos, which is really great, I will rate your channel as Nullified! There you go, Freedom Family. That is episode 5. And first and foremost, I would like to say thank you to everyone who commented and shared their insights on this series. So if you want to comment down below, you can do so. If you have any suggestions, do so. If you have violent reactions, that's okay because I read all your comments and I welcome that. I want to hear from you guys. So comment in the comment section below right now. Comment, comment now. All right, guys. My name is Nold and you're watching KYC Nullified. See ya. Hi, have you checked out our Freedom Forums? If not, well you should, because you will find me there alongside free channel assets like audios, banners, thumbnails, and a lot more. If you want to hang out with me or with our Freedom staff members, visit our Discord page. See you there.